Okay, so looking at Paspier, I'm just going to look first of all at the quavers and the semi-quavers. Um, just getting the speed of those correct. They need to be in ratio, if you like, to the crotchet beat. So if you're starting at this sort of speed, so that's your crotchet. So your quavers will be half of those or double of those. So that means then in the sort of one, two, three, fourth bar along, Okay, so the quavers need to be exactly half of the crotchet. Yours were sort of a bit quicker than that, maybe not quite as bad as that, but they weren't exactly half and they do need to be exactly half. So the best thing is as you approach the bar with the quaver is to start counting in halves. So if I take it from bar three, one and two and three and one and two and three, like that. Do it again. One and two and three and one and two and three. One and two and three. To make sure that they really are precise. Okay, it does have to be metronomic. And then in the last bar on the first line, of course, we're going into semi quavers. So I've got to divide them into quarters or, or fours. One and two and three and Okay, so you do need to get those semiquavers up to speed. All right, so that's the first thing is to practice that. So really listen to these rhythms and work at the, the quaver and the semiquaver speeds to get them correct. Um, and then we need some start stop practice. So I think it was where we put the dots here all the little stars that I put in my music. Okay, which I think you were better this time. So the start stop practice, um, I think is using from bar five to six. So the same sort of thing applies. Go from the beginning of bar five. at the beginning of bar six because it's going from bar five to bar six where you were hesitating but also you weren't quite getting this left hand correct the g to the b the notes are not next door so though the fingers are next door the notes are not so you need to spread the fingers slightly so that you've got a key in between so start bar five stop bar six that's your start stop practice Um, and then, of course, that's the same for the next section. Then we're carrying on um, right to the end. Um, so it is two sections the same. So I'm just going to do half of that. So the right hand, we st we end with a third finger on the D in bar 12. And then you need to do quite a few finger changes. You go from four, then to five, up to E, then you do it again. Four, then five. Now, this time, just at the end of the line, I don't do four and five. I just go to four, which is printed in the music, up to G in bar 18. And then from bar 18 to 19, I have to squeeze the four next door to the D, G, B and C. Right, and then it'll start the same all over again, and so on. Okay, the other thing um, to watch out for is the rhythm that you've got to crotch it, then the quavers, crotch it, then the quavers. The left hand does the same rhythm, so make sure you're waiting on the crotch it, wait, then the quavers. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and okay. The left hand, um, so you will have ended on the thumb on the G. Then you've got to move the thumb to start the next section with the thumb on G this time. B, that's low B, then back to the G, and the quavers. Now go to A, and then A again, and the quavers. But this time I don't move because I go to the G with my second finger, which is already there. Just read 
these bar 18 notes carefully. E, G, A, then F, then take the thumb to the G, you go down an octave and end up with a two, I would say, on the C. Then you're repeating that same section again, okay? So you can play both sections when you practice and make sure you copy all the fingering into the second section so that you're doing it exactly the same. Um, if you want to put it hands together, I'm just going to start from the beginning of the phrase, which is the last note in bar 12. So you have got lifts in the right hand, but joins like that in the left hand. So I lift the right hand, but I join the left hand. And the same here. So I'm lifting the right hand, but I'm joining the left hand. Now I'm lifting the left hand. Lift the right hand and join the left hand. Then from here, everything is connected up. 